Hey everybody, it's Miss Peek back with Ragweed and we're on chapter 18 called Ragweed's Plan. The three mice, Ragweed, Clutch, and Blinker, were sitting around Clutch's nest, snacking on breadcrumbs. Clutch was making a new skateboard from a popsicle stick, shaping it with her teeth. Ragweed was doing most of the talking. A wide-eyed Blinker was listening intently. You see, Ragweed said, like... What we need to do is show those cats they can't go on terrorizing you guys. You have a right to live your own lives. Know what I'm saying? Sure, Clutch said, spitting out a few wood bits. <clears throat> okay, Ragweed continued. So you have to stand up for yourselves. Like, from now on, I'm making it a personal rule. No one is going to tell me what I can or can't do. No one. Ever. Like, period. Blinker darted a look to Clutch to see what she thought before saying, That's a, a fine idea, he said timidly, but how could a mouse ever do such a thing? Aren't we, as Clutch said, too small? Hey, dude, Ragweed returned boldly. We may be little, but there are like lots of us. Clutch grinned. Listen to this dude, she said to Blinker, like he's a talking ice cream, she laughed. Clutch, Ragweed pressed, are you going to keep running, hiding, and losing forever? Don't you want to be free too, like play your own music? You better believe it. Okay, well, then I say it's time to do what you want to do, Clutch laughed. You're beginning to sound like my old mouse. No offense, Ragreed rep replied, but it's not that Wendy is wrong. It's that he does nothing but talk and paint. Look here, Ragweed. Clutch said as she reached lazily for another crumb, popped it in her mouth, and chewed thoughtfully. You aren't so off the mark, but just a while ago, duh, you were heading out of town on the first train. What's changed? Ragweed bristled. I'd just like to show you what's possible, that's all. Yeah, right. Clutch said, show until time, but hey, like what are you going to do? Ragweed looked from Clutch to Blinker, then back to Clutch. Then he leaned forward. It's called a new club. Clutch put down her skateboard. You serious, dude? Check it out. A new club will be the best way to show those cats you can't be put down. A new club will cheer you city dudes up, give you courage. It'll be a place to chill out, to find your strength, get all that working, and it'll be like fighting back. But it has to be big. Big enough to hold enough mice to fight back if attacked. Way cool, Clutch agreed. Can the B-flat tires play there? That's the whole point. I mean, like, are you really serious? Clutch demanded, not just sucking crumbs. Clutch, Ragweed said earnestly. In my whole life, I've never been more serious. I mean, we'll get your father to paint some pictures on the wall. Your mother can read from her epic. B-flat tires can play. Know what I'm saying? It'll be your club, dude. Clutch gazed at Ragweed with laughing eyes. Mouse, you got the lingo down perfecto sweet. Then she exclaimed, but hey, Mouse, killer idea. I love it. Put it there. She held out a paw. Ragweed slapped it. Blinker, though he wasn't sure what was happening, grinned. Now, what we need to do, Ragweed continued after the initial excitement had died down, is find a place for the new club. That's where you come in, he said to Clutch. What do you mean? Hey, like you said, I'm the new dude here. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. Oh, okay, Clutch agreed. Gotta be different from the cheese squeeze club, Ragween went on. A place can't, a cats can't get into easily or break down, but big. That's like crucial. So there can be a lot of us, know what I'm saying? I hear you, Clutch said. She thought hard. Hey, I know a place. It might work. In the human's old downtown. You know, everything is deserted there, including an abandoned bookstore. Used to have great tasting books. But it has lots of space. Might work. Can we go check it out? Ragweed asked. Sure thing, dude. But we'll bust out through the exhaust pipe just in case fear is still hanging around. New skateboard and paw, Clutch led her friends out of her car nest through the long, narrow tube. Outside, it was already dark. The, low, the moon was low. Only a few stars were out. After a careful check to make sure the way was safe, Clutch dropped her board and pushed off. What is that? Blinker cried, running along along by Clutch's side. My wheels, dude. A skateboard. It looks very exciting, the white mouse said. Do, do you think you could teach me to do that? Nothing to it, dude, Clutch said. I would like that, Blinker murmured. 
Though Ragweed said nothing, he wished he had thought of asking Clutch for lessons. The three mice zigzagged across town. The streets and alleys had no signs of cats, humans, or even other mice. The only sound was the occasional crumpled aluminum can, caught in a wisp of wind grating across the pavement like a broken rattle. After some fifteen minutes of hard scampering and skateboarding, Clutch said, Here we are. They had entered a narrow alley. The only light came from a few flickering street lamps. A rusty garbage can overflowing with old torn books dominated the way. On the back of the building was a window with a screen sh shielding cracked glass. A large rusty padlock held a steel door shut. How do we get in? Ragweed asked. Clutch said, There used to be a hole by this door. After poking about the door frame, she called, Sweet, it's still here! She propped her skateboard against the outside wall and dove in the hole. Blinker and Ragweed followed. The three mice found themselves in a gloomy hallway littered with paper and heaps of broken-backed books. The floor was filthy. The walls were covered with tattered posters. Mounted low on the wall was a large wheel. Hanging beneath the wheel was a massive coil that to Ragweed's eyes looked like a snake. He froze. What's that? He asked Clutch nervously. Not sure, she replied. Blinker considered it. I saw one of them in a book, he said. It's called a hose and it shoots water. Humans use it to put out fires. Hey, this dude knows sweet stuff, Clutch said. Blinker grinned shyly. The mice moved forward and stood upon the threshold of a large room. On three walls were shelves, some of which contained a few books. More volumes were on the floor. Virtually all were broken. The whole area was littered with paper and broken boxes. The wooden floor was filthy. Clutch gazed around, like, what a mess, she said. Yeah, Ragweed said, but if we can clean it up, do you think it's usable? Clutch gazed about, never heard of a club this large. You could fit the whole town's mouse population in here. But the main thing is, we'd have to work it so the cats can't get in, ever. Know what I'm saying? It's either the best or worst ever. There were screens on that back window, Ragweed pointed out. That entry hole was too small for them, and the back door is locked. Clutch made her way to the front of the store and examined the main door. It was shut tight. There's another hole up here, she called. Too small for cats, just right for mice. The front wall of the store was mostly taken up by a large plate glass window. Though it, was t it too was cracked, it had no holes. On the glass were painted letters. Ragweed read them out loud. T-N-E-D-N-E-P-E-D-N-I-T-S-A-L-E-H-T E-R-O-T-S-K-O-O-B What's that mean? he asked, unable to make sense of it. Blinker stared hard at the letters. Clutch was more interested in the room, turned back to examine the space. Well, what do you think, dude? Ragweed asked her. Be different. Clutch said, taking in the huge space with her eyes. Needs an awesome amount of work, but it's cool. Just better be as tight as your tail is to your bod. Could we get other mice to help? Ragweed asked. No problem, Clutch said. I got zillions of pals. They'll help. Hey, what are we going to call this place? Beats me, Ragweed said. I figured out what those letters on the front window mean, Blinker announced. We are looking at it backwards. It says, The Last Independent Bookstore. Decent, Ragweed said. Maybe we could call this the Independent Club. Cool, Clutch said. In books, Blinker said shyly, the sophisticated would call it Cafe Independent. I'm amped, Clutch exclaimed. I mean, kill or cool. Then Cafe Independent it is, Ragweed said, seeing Clutch's enthusiasm. All three mice slapped their paws in agreement. And that's the end of the chapter. See you next time. Bye.